and if you're new, hey there, I'm Kay. And in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing my experience buying my first car. Now, if you're not new to this, you true to this, and you've been on my channel for a while, then you know I had a car. I had a Nissan Altima, a 2006 Nissan Altima for about a year and 10 months, I believe. But that car was giving me so many problems. To begin with, I only bought the car for, I think, $2,500, so it wasn't that expensive, and car insurance was cheap compared to what I'm paying for this car. Car insurance for that Nissan Altima, I think, was about, at first it was $80, then I got a speeding ticket, and it went up to $112, I believe, but yeah. I just got a new job about a month and a half ago and literally my first day going to work. That car, I was on the highway driving to work and I'm just driving, driving, and it starts slowing down. And I'm on the gas, so I'm like, why is it slowing down? I'm pressing the gas and it will not speed up. And eventually it goes from 65 to zero and I'm on the side of the highway with my hazard lights on, just waiting for my mom. And my mom literally had to come to where I was and like she has an Expedition, so she has like a big SUV. And it's even bigger than this car, if you know what an Expedition, a Ford Expedition is. But yeah, so she's behind my little Nissan Altima, pushing the back of my Nissan Altima with the front of her Expedition to try to get me off the highway. So yeah, I had a transmission problem, come to find out, and it was going to cost like almost $5,000 to fix. That's more than I paid for the car. And I already put so much money into that car, tires, brakes, which was like $700 and just other stuff. So yeah, it was time for that car to go. So for the last month of me having that car, I didn't even drive it. I traded with my mom. My mom took that car and I took my mom's Ford Expedition and I was driving that to work since my mom has been working from home. So yeah, that was that. But on Saturday, August 29th, I went to CarMax and I got my Nissan Rogue Sport. And I am so excited, y'all. Y'all do not understand. Like, I am not rich. My mom is not rich. We're not poor either. We've always lived like a comfortable lifestyle. We've always had what we needed and most of what we wanted. It might've taken time to get, but you know, we had it. But I'm not that type of kid. When I was 16, I just got, you know, a sports car, the car of my dreams, 2020, you know, that wasn't the case. Um, but I did, you know, finance this car, so it's not all the way paid off. My Nissan Altima was paid off, but this one is not. It's financed. Y'all, I'm gonna eat. I'm hungry. I got Whataburger. I've never had their breakfast. Somebody was talking about their breakfast to me last night, and I was like, I'm gonna try it. So yeah, I've been eating the hash browns. But anyway, yeah, so this is an orange, 2017 Nissan Rogue Sport. And I'm gonna give y'all a little car tour so y'all can see what the car looks like. If y'all want a video of me um, actually like, cause I want to get stuff for the car, like car seats, not car seats, but like the car seat covers and just stuff that I need in my car. So if y'all want a video of that, like accessories and necessities for my car, I already bought napkins for my car. I bought a case of water just in case I'm in here and I'm thirsty or need some water. So yeah, I bought some stuff, but if y'all want a video on that, let me know in the comments down below. But I'm gonna go ahead and give y'all a tour of the car inside and out. And then I'll talk about the steps I took to actually get this car.
when I tell y'all this car goes vroom vroom, it goes vroom vroom. I'm gonna put a little video, but literally when I first got this car, I was test driving it and I was pressing on the gas and I didn't know it was actually making a vroom vroom sound. I thought it was another car and in my head, I'm like, whose stupid car is making that sound? Cause you know how people have sports cars and they make it make that vroom vroom sound on purpose. I thought it was somebody doing it on purpose. So I was like, who is doing that with a stupid car? It was my stupid car, <laughs> but I'm gonna put a little video of it. I don't know if y'all will be able to hear it, but literally when you press on the gas, it literally goes vroom vroom. Within 24 hours, I actually gave this car a name, which is crazy because it took me a whole year to give my Nissan Altima a name. My Nissan Altima, I named it Eleanor. My mom, like the last month of me having it, which my mom really had it, she renamed it Lulu. Why, I don't know, but apparently the car loved the name because it acted right with my mom. But this car, my Nissan Rogue, I named it Clementine. And I thought of this name because I was watching Twitch. I was watching somebody play The Walking Dead. If you don't know what it is, it's a video game. But the main character's name is Clementine. And Clementine is also a fruit. It's like a small orange tangerine type thing. And it's orange. So I was like, that is literally the perfect name. It's like an actual name. And it's a color like orange. So yeah, that's what I named my car, Clementine. So everybody say, hey, Clementine. So when it comes to me getting this car, I did it, I think in like a week's time. Um, I've been on the car mats website for about like, I don't even think a month. It's been like two or three weeks maybe. I was on the car max website just looking at cars. And I, it may be weird to some of you because most people dream of like a Mustang or a Charger or a Lamborghini something like that being their dream car but i am so simple you guys when it comes to cars literally this nissan rogue was my dream car and i wanted it in a bright color because i tend to lose my vehicle in parking lots i don't know why i'll park it somewhere and forget where i parked it and i can't find it and i'm walking around the parking lot looking like a stupid so i wanted a bright color and so far i've had this car for a few days and i haven't lost it yet like it stands out in a parking lot but um yeah so i was just looking on carmax.com and at first i was gonna save three thousand dollars for a down payment but i'm the type of person when it comes to saving sometimes i get sidetracked especially when it's a lot of money and i just end up putting my money towards something else so i was like i changed my mind i was like you know when i see a car that i want i'm gonna just get it no down payment just get it and that's what i decided to do so i saw this car it popped up on CarMax. Like, I was literally refreshing the website every day. And this car popped up. The next day, I told my mom, I want this car. Because it popped up, like, at night when I checked. So, the next day, I told my mom, I want this car. And I want to hurry up and get it before somebody takes it. Because it was another Nissan Rogue Sport. But the interior, like, the inside, everything was tan. And I like my interior dark color. Like, either a black like this or, like, a gray. So, I really wanted this car. And orange cars are kind of, like, not as you know popular as black or silver so i told my mom and she was like okay i'll help you so i called i told carmax and this wasn't at my carmax location like the carmax closest to me didn't have this car it was like a carmax farther out so i actually had to get this car shipped to the carmax closest to me but it was free because it was still within the same state so i got this car shipped i did an appraisal on my old nissan ultima which basically like a lot of things are online since the, um, this COVID is going on. So I just had to take pictures of my um, Nissan Altima inside out around about all that. And they gave me a thousand dollars for it, which isn't a lot, but it's actually more than I thought I would get. Cause that car is so old, so dusty, so rusty. But yeah, I got a thousand dollars for it and I didn't even keep the thousand dollars. I gave it right back to them for the down payment on this car. So I did the appraisal online. I set up like the financing over the phone. So I didn't have to do it there. 
So I spoke to this lady, she was walking me through it. She got all my information. She set up like how much the payment's gonna be a month, how much like certain max care and all just different type of stuff. And so she helped me set that up. And then on Saturday, like I said, it was August 29th. I went to CarMax. My appointment was at 3 p.m. We did not leave CarMax until almost 7.30 p.m. So we were there for a minute. Imagine if we had to do the appraisal and the fin financing application there too. We probably would have been there all day. And I went after work, so I was so tired. I had just worked an eight and a half hour shift and I had been up since 3.30 a.m. So yeah, I was tired, but finally got my car. I'll show y'all the pictures I took with my mom and with the car. One of them is probably gonna be the thumbnail, but um, yeah, that was that, got the car. That was it really, it wasn't that hard to do. I did co-sign with my mom or I'm the sole, like the main owner, but my mom co-signed because her credit score is better than mine. So it made the payments a little bit cheaper. But y'all, the payments are still expensive. I am not rich. Literally, the majority of my checks are going to be going towards this car and the insurance for this car. The car note is $390 a month. The car insurance is $356 a month. That is like what, 400, 700, 750, almost $800 going into this car a month. I make more than that a month, so you know, I'm good. But the girl gotta stop buying clothes because this car is expensive. And that's the tea. But I am excited that I got this car. I really do feel blessed. I really wanted a car that was dependable and that I wouldn't be paranoid to drive because my old Nissan Altima, I was so paranoid every time I drove that car, I just always felt like something was going on. Like you guys do not understand. It literally, for like the last 10 months of me having that car, it literally felt like every single month there was a problem with that car. Every single month. I kid you not, it's facts. Every single month. And I put that on my mama. On oh, my mama, he killed it. And that's what I can put on my mama. On me. But yeah, it was just a lot. And I was so ready to get rid of that car. I do, I don't like, like I still appreciate having that car because my uncle helped me find that car. I didn't pay for all of it. My uncle paid for like the majority of it and he picked the car. So that's why I'm saying this is actually my first car. Cause that last car, I didn't get to pick it. I didn't even pay for it all. And it wasn't even in my name. It was in my mom's name. So this is really like my official first car in my name, me paying for it. I picked it, all that. So I'm blessed, I'm happy, I'm excited. You know, I need a road trip, y'all. Where we about to go? Like, to let us just know. Cause I really do want to drive. That's all I really want to do. But yeah, I'm just blessed. But y'all, thank you for watching this video and sharing this moment with me. I really am so excited. It still feels so unreal to me. Like I, when I go outside my house and look at this bright orange car in my driveway, I'm just like, wow, that is really my car. So yeah, I'm excited, blessed thankful appreciative to my mom to myself to god all that even my uncle for my old car so yeah that's that on that thank you again for watching make sure you subscribe if you haven't already leave a comment down below let me know what you think um turn on those post notifications follow me on my social media check out my instagram i actually posted a picture on instagram when i first got this car so yeah do that and until next time, bye you guys.